Hi, welcome to the video on proportional area of similar figures. If we have two polygons that we know are similar, what we learned in class is that if the ratio of the sides or of the radi radii or of the heights, lengths, widths of these figures is say some number to some other number, some other number, some number n to some number n, then what we learned is that the areas of those figures, area of m, of figure m, I should say, to area of figure n, we'll compare in this ratio where m is squared and n is squared. So basically it says, if you take a measurement from here and square it, take a measurement from here and square it, it'll equal the area of this figure divided by the area of this figure. That's what the formula basically says. So let's give this a shot. First off, you're told that these two trapezoids, what they look like, these two trapezoids are similar, these two quadrilaterals. So since they're similar, we can create some proportions, we can create some ratios. You pick any one of these measurements, I don't care, as long as you can pick a corresponding measurement, so long as you can pick a corresponding measurement in the other figure. Well, I'll work with that 15. The 15 is going to be like my M, so I have to square it. 15 inches squared. I'm going to leave the units out, I'm going to put them back in later on. 15 squared, well it looks like this side should match with EF, 7.5 inches. And that gets squared. And that's equal to the area of figure M divided by the area of figure N. Well, figure M, that's whichever figure I took this measurement from. I took, this measurement was 15, I took it from this figure, and I know its area is 110. So I'm going to put 110 here. I know it's 110 inches squared. I'm going to put the inches and whatnot in later on. Area of figure N. I don't know the area of this figure, though, which is where I took the 7.5 from. So this goes down the bottom. Since I don't know it, I'm going to give it a variable name. And since I'm looking for area, I'll call it A. You can say X or Y, whatever you want. But since I'm getting area, I'll say A. At this point, you're solving for a variable with a set of uh, ratio, with, a, with a proportion. You can solve it with cross multiplication. A times 15 squared should equal 110 times 7.5 squared. And after that, and after that, all you have to do is divide by 15 squared to solve for it. do this operation 110 times 7.5 squared equals divided by 15 squared 110 times 7.5 squared divided by 15 squared will give you the answer there and that's what you will get if you do that you'll get 27.5 inches and since this is an area this will be inches squared that's the answer there that's all you have to do. If you're trying the other problem, then you're working on something like this. You've still got two similar polygons. The difference here is that you know both areas, but now you only know one of the measurements and you want to know the other measurement. So the solving will be a little bit different, but the method will be the same. So we'll set up the same proportion. Pick a measurement from either figure. It doesn't matter which one. I've got this 21. I've got this X. I'll go with the 21 first. So I've got 21 compares to this x. Since these were side measurements, and I said it's m squared over n squared, it's going to be 21 squared over x squared, and that's going to compare to this 21 has this area, 4,590, and the other one has an area of 510. So what we're doing is we are going to cross multiply it one more time, x squared times 4,590, you just watch out for this video. X squared times 4,590 equals 510 times 21 squared. And then this is pretty easy to solve. Divide by the 4,590. Leaving you with X squared. 
On that side, you actually have to use the operation 510 times 21 squared divided by 4590. We'll give you this number 49. So x squared is 49. And then, just like always, to get rid of a square, you take the square root. And hopefully, you remember that the square root of 49 is 7. Since this is a side measure, and this, and this side measure is meters, this is 7 meters. That's all you need to know about proportional area problems. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Feel free to leave a comment in the box, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in class.